Good evening and welcome to the Nevis Newscast. Today is Wednesday, April 20th, 2016. I am Bronte Swanston Hendrickson. A first form student of the Nevis International Secondary School was yesterday given the opportunity to present to Premier the Honorable Vance Amory a possible solution to meeting the island's demand for fresh water. Jaden Doerr met with the Premier at his office at Bath Hotel. Currently, many places around the world don't have access to clean or fresh water. Therefore, they use desalination. In Nevis, this is fortunately not the case. However, in the event of a drought or other unfortunate disasters, we should not have to suffer from water scarcity since we have an abundance of water surrounding us. Additionally, the proposed desalination method and technology, CETO, not only provides desalinated water, but also has the added benefit of providing a form of renewable energy that will provide a clean energy source. The Premier questioned Dor as to what drove him to come up with this possible supplement to the island's current water supply. I was doing some research and I came across the desalination process. And I thought to myself, if there is a drought, we should suffer because we have an abundance of water around us, we're an island. And so I told my mom about it, which told Hazel, and told you, <laughs> and we're here now, and it didn't even know it was possible. And so desalination is also very clean, and other pe and, I've seen, and I've heard of other islands in other countries doing it, so I figured, why shouldn't we? The idea is clearly a very good idea, and we need to look at it. Because we, up to two days ago, we were looking at maybe steering drought very serious in the face. And we don't even know, even though we've had some drips of rain. And we thank God for that, if we're getting any significant rainfall this year. So we have to look at all of that. But I'll get the technicians to look at it. I know some kids are also looking because they have a bit more serious situation than we have. And that's one of the ideas which has come up, that we need to look at reverse osmosis, desalination as a possible source of, of water. And other people are beginning to question. We've been fortunate, I think. But if we have all the hotels which we are looking at coming into construction, we need to certainly look long, I mean immediately, at how do we respond to provide water for that. So I want to thank you for your, your coming to talk to us about it. And I wish you well. And don't stop thinking, don't stop this is more than dreaming now. Don't stop thinking, but dream big, think big. And whenever you have an idea, knock it off somebody. Dorr was accompanied by his mother, Letitia Dorr, Junior Minister responsible for youth, the Honorable Hazel Brandy Williams, and coordinator of youth development, Zanella Claxton. Dorr, a former student of the Maud Cross Preparatory School, achieved the best results in the 2015 Test of Standards. The Rams Group of Companies yesterday, Tuesday, April 19th, made a donation to Parliamentary Representative the Honorable Alexis Jeffers on behalf of constituents of the St. James's Parish. Charlie Julius, sales representative for the Rams Group of Companies on St. Kitts, spoke on behalf of the company. I would wish to give to the Nevis Island Administration $1,000 to help in any area of health. And also coming from Rams, group of companies, we are given six cases of adults' disposable diapers, the value of $1,500. My boss, Mr. Kishu Shandoromani, who was a leader, always said to us, money gone, nothing gone, health gone, everything gone. And so we are giving back to, in the area of health, I want to say to persons out there that we have to learn to give. The government cannot do it alone, and so we are imploring persons to please give because it's better to give than to receive. 
manager of the Rams Group of Companies on Nevis, Manuj Daswani, presented Minister Jeffers with the items. The minister expressed his gratitude for the donation. This morning's uh, activity is an act of thoughtfulness, an act of kindness, and an act of unselfishness, which is what we need in this community to make it a better place. And Rams continue to play their part. As a matter of fact, if I might say about uh, Miss Julius, I met her some years ago, and over the years she has pointed me in the direction of areas where I can get assistance from Rams and other areas, so she has been helpful in many regards. And I want to uh, commend her for her kindness and her thoughtfulness at this point in time. So I want to thank the entire Rams group of company once again for their kind gesture. And I am going to also add a case to these six cases so that we can make an extra person's life a little bit better. Parliamentary representative for the St. James's constituency, the Honorable Alexis Jeffers. As the Education USA Advising Center for Nevis, the Nevis Public Library will be hosting an open information session tomorrow, Thursday, April 21st. Chief Librarian at the Nevis Public Library, Anastasia Paris, says the session will take the form of three presentations. There will be a presentation on the five steps to studying in the U.S. And this presentation is important because we want our people, our students, to understand that planning is necessary in order for them to go and study. Then there will be a presentation on the redesigned SAT, which is the Scholastic Aptitude Test. Now most of us know that this test is required for entry into most colleges and universities in the United States. Well, as of March 2016, there are some changes that took effect with the test in how it is administered and the general makeup of the test. Third, we will have a special presentation by a visiting consular officer from the United States Embassy in Barbados. She is encouraging prospective students to take advantage of the opportunity. So this is extremely important and I really, will really want as many students as possible school leavers, working individuals, even parents of students who are interested in studying in the U.S. to take full advantage of this opportunity to learn about the application process, the whole student visa process, to just interact one-on-one -on -one with the, the consular officer and to gain as much information as they can. Uh, of course, he's the one who has the first-hand knowledge of the process. So I really would like as many students, the athletes, whoever is interested in studying in the U.S., as many persons as possible, please come out and take advantage of this opportunity. The session will commence at 4 p.m. at the Charleston Methodist Conference Center. Still to come. So we will operate on patients who have brain tumors. In the brain, you also have fluid spaces in the brain that can sometimes be dilated or in other words you have more fluid in the brain than is supposed to be there. We'll have the details after this break. Celebrating the old, showcasing the new. Culturama 42. As a responsible citizen, your tax dollars protect our environment. Pay your taxes on time. This message was brought to you by the Inland Revenue Department, Nevis. Be a responsible citizen. Welcome back. Premier, the Honorable Vance Amory, has described the Taiwanese government's donation of 50,000 U.S. dollars to the Nevis Cultural Development Foundation as a significant and generous contribution to the preservation of the identity of Nevis. Yesterday, Premier Amory accepted, on behalf of the NIA, the check which was presented by Taiwanese resident ambassador to St. Kitts and Nevis, His Excellency George Gawichu. Nevis clearly is a country which we think has rich in culture, yes. our his, historic heritage mm -hmm. um, has been demonstrated over the years that our dance, our music, our performing arts 
these are the things which have made us unique. You've had some of your cultural artists come here to, to entertain us and to show us some aspects of your culture. Sure. And I'm hoping uh, that with this contribution that our own, some of our own artists here, once they have developed their, their art and they have perfected the art, that you might be willing to welcome some of them to your country sure, sure. To, to perform there. Yeah. So I think this is something which this contribution is going to make a big, significant contribution towards enabling us to, 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 to do that. So I thank you again. Premier Amy also used the opportunity to assure Ambassador Chu that the friendship between St. Kitts and Nevis and Taiwan will continue and strengthen. Dr. Jeffrey Liburd yesterday spoke with health educator Shavane Nesbitt about the range of services that are now offered at the Alexandra Hospital with regards to neurosurgery. Dr. Liburd, the first neurosurgeon from Nevis, is offering his services through a partnership with the Ministry of Health. We would operate on patients who have brain tumors. In the brain, you also have fluid spaces in the brain that can sometimes be dilated or in other words you have more fluid in the brain than is supposed to be there mm -hmm. and on occasion what we would do is we would divert that fluid in the brain so that we can treat the patients and they, they, their brain can develop normally. Um, in addition for example you have I'm sure you've had a few patients in Nevis who have died suddenly from maybe blood clots in the brain where you know they've had a blood vessel that has ruptured in the brain something we call an aneurysm yes. which is really a weakness in the blood vessel in the brain and these are conditions that are quite complex to treat and we treat those as well. Dr. Liburd also treats patients with degenerative changes. In this age where we have a lot, a lot of improvement in our health care, you find that patients are living a lot longer and as such you get a lot more degenerative changes in the spine so you're going to have a lot of patients who, who have significant you know, back pain yeah. from slip discs etc. Um, you will have it in the neck or in the lower back and these are things that, that you know that we treat as neurosurgeons. There are also patients who you'd find a lot of times would have tingling in their hands or they might have some weakness in their hands because of some sort of compression of the nerves that go to the hands and these are some of the, other, the conditions that we treat as well. According to Dr. Liburd, he also treats patients with epilepsy. I've also had the, had the distinct opportunity of having gone to to Yale where I did uh, a fellowship in epilepsy surgery and that is for people who have seizures right. and so we can surgically treat patients who are not responsive to, to medications as long as they fit the criteria for that kind of treatment. Neurosurgeon Dr. Jeffrey Liburd recently performed his first operation at the Alexandra Hospital. And that brings us to the end of tonight's presentation of the Nevis Newscast. I am Bronte Swanston Hendrickson. Thank you for viewing. Good night.